everybody, I uh, just wanted to do a quick review of uh, what's going on for October 25th, Tuesday, um, and look a little bit back into last week and this week and kind of try to make some projections here. Um, so we can see that there's kind of a level of support um, right around here at uh, 36.96. Um, so let's draw in a horizontal line um, for that um, just to indicate where that level is. So it's right about there. You can see that primarily right in here, there was a lot of trading on um, last week at the end of the week, uh, actually it was a Wednesday, and Thursday, and then even Friday kind of passed through that level too. Um, and then you can see the week before um, on the 13th um, and 14th, uh, there was kind of a lot of trading uh, done right at that same level too. So uh, and then there was quite a bit of trading done above that level too, so as well as below that level. So it looked to me like, um, judging from the charts, that this level down here, um, 36.13, also looks like a pretty serious level of support. Um, if you zoom out a little bit, you see that there's one last little level right in here, uh, which is 3,800 essentially, um, which is basically the top of this. So we are at the top level right now kind of questioning what happened at the start of October. Um, this is a very important time period that's why I just want to do a quick study of this kind of see uh, what we can see here uh, in terms of the charting. So part of the question here is there was so much force uh, on Friday um, going up and then we did see quite a lot of force here um, almost equivalent on Monday but it kind of was uh, strange because there's actually a downward uh, trend right here. If you look at the details here, you can see there's that one uh, downward candle right there that really um, sunk the market in a little bit for Monday. So where are the good trades uh, for uh, tomorrow on Tuesday uh, is the main question. So we might be in a level of breakout here. So the real question is what happens tonight? Um, and if tonight can hold this level, um, we might be able to see a breakout. Um, that means there is significant support um, if we hold this level all night. Um, and that would still be quite quite some time here. We got to go, uh, we're sitting right here at, uh, what's the time frame for New York right now? Um, so New York time right now is about uh, 1.50 in the morning. Um, so we still have quite a ways to go. If you look at this chart, we got all this ways. Um, basically until 9, 8.30 or so uh, with news. So, um, but basically 9.30, so it's a, quite a long range for tonight. Now, usually things stay pretty calm uh, during the night. Um, I kind of see that on the 60 minute chart here, um, that the MACD is kind of slowing down here. This year had its high, mostly during the daytime here around 11 o'clock. Um, also, there was a lot of volume throughout the day but you can see that primarily was at nine o'clock in the morning so it's likely that most of the volume that we see uh, will be um, in tomorrow morning so it's likely that um, one of the problems here is that this level might be considered an era a, a level of support uh, simply because the average to range is dropping so we are seeing some kind of a significant drop uh, higher points or so down, uh, well, not 100 points down, but down to about 100 points um, of move per day. Um, so we are likely to continue that trend. Um, that means we should see some consolidation um, if this is likely to continue here um, to maybe a level of about 85 points per day. So that may take until the middle of November. So we could kind of calm down uh, here. It just looks like the trading um is kind of been pretty wild and maybe there needs to be some calming down uh and then maybe in december we'll speed up again so you can see that uh on the rsi indicator here that we kind of uh, hit this low right at the start of october or end of september and then kind of pulled up ever since so there was that part here where we kind of moved up and then we kind of moved up a second time right now which is even a little higher than the first time so we are making new highs here um which is a good sign at least according to the rsi you can see it doesn't really look like that uh looks like about even but the rsi shows it as actually significantly higher um suggesting a higher high so uh this is a stronger move so we could push even higher we're likely to push certainly higher than this bit here 
So other indicators show um, of the last pieces that we saw back in August, um, since we're trying to get uh, pretty high up here, you can see uh, that we've made it up pretty high, but this little turn off right ahead, the other turns here in the upward trend did not have this uh, lower piece of turning out. This kind of looks more like not even as good as that range. So we don't really even have anything to compare on um, this current uptrend to except for the previous mount. So you do see this trend and this trend. So this could be part of a downtrend here and then maybe part of an uptrend. So it's even possible that we can see a downtrend, uh, then an uptrend like we saw uh, back here in July. Um, so that's similar, we're a little bit higher than that. So this uptrend, this is not even the main uptrend. This could be just part of a slight uptrend that we've seen and then slight downtrend and then even bigger after that. Now there's two sides to the story. There's the negative side as well. Now we did see a very big downtrend here, uh, bigger than anything we saw here. However, there's three bumps here on the positive side and we see three bumps here on the negative side. So um, if you sum up these, they're about equal on um, all practical reasons. So maybe we could meet in between here um, on a price range uh, around 3,900 or 4,000. Um, that's also possible. So the MACD shows kind of a different story uh, than the other indicators. You can see that um, this upward trend did start right around the same era, but we kind of made a two uptrends. So we had this uptrend started here, and then there's another one here, whereas we didn't have that. So this looks a little bit more solid, um, this uptrend. Uh, the current, well, this was, I mean, this was more straight up. Um, however, uh, it didn't show uh, the gaining gap. Like here, once we got to the top, we dropped, right? Here, we're already seeing that we're making it further ahead um, than we did back here. So that looks pretty good. On the MACD, um, you can see here, um, this part of the curve um, that was pretty strong but we're also seeing very strong signs here so uh, we do see one red candle in this one here um, and that one happened just prior to making there and we didn't really see any red candles prior to making it uh, up here so we did see the red candles more on the earlier side which this did see that as well but these red candles um, certainly um, are different so uh, it just looks like this was a stronger downtrend uh, overall. So there's some debates on either side. If you take this here and move it up to the front of the line here, you could say that we're about equal with what happened here. So again, that brings us about equal to the 4,000 level, which still is an uptrend um, on all this. So, or you could say halfway between here and here, um, and then that's maybe a little bit less than 4,000, but anyway. So it's likely that we're going to see a calm night uh, tonight uh, getting into Tuesday uh, that this will likely level off here um, until uh, sometime early in the morning. So that uh, isn't too much further. We got, we've already been uh, pretty level for most of the day. And then, uh, you know, it looks like even tomorrow might be pretty level. It just depends on what happens. So in terms of the overall stock map, um, we're basically seeing some pretty good up signs uh, for this week, uh, this past uh, week or so. Um, and we see, you know, basically everything doing pretty good except for some key warning signs. Meta going down here, TSM going down. Um, even Intel has been struggling. Um, I did a little bit of investment in Intel, but, uh, and I unbelievably lost like 40% on that. So uh, it's, Basically, the technology sector, semiconductor sector hasn't been doing too good. Um, communications hasn't been doing too good, right? You still have Meta going down quite a bit. Uh, Verizon down there, 3% as well. So uh, you can see that uh, Tesla is struggling a lot, lot here. Um, and then some others, even down 17%, JD, PDD. Man, my God, uh, some Asian companies really struggling. So. Uh, it is a question, um, what will happen? Um, cause usually these charts look pretty green or pretty red. Um, and it's kind of a mixed thing here with certain companies uh, looking suspiciously red uh, for the week. So we do have some earning reports coming up and let me show you that. So big earning reports coming up today, Microsoft, Google, Visa, Coca-Cola, Texas Instrument, U UPS, so on. Um, this week, uh, even more. Uh, coming out, Apple, you got Amazon, 
Exxon Mobil. So it's just a huge week for earnings. Uh, earnings have looked pretty good uh, overall. If you look at yesterday's earnings, uh, you can see well, there's some actually pretty bad ones here. Um, looks like Discover Financial Services down 4%. But the other ones I have seen have been pretty good. Um, you can see um, <clears throat> quite a number of downs, uh, some different ups too. Uh, and uh, But the one, ones that really matter are the Apple and Microsoft and these other ones. Uh, coming up uh, today and uh, next couple of days. So we will be really looking out for what's going to happen tomorrow, uh, especially in the technology sector. Um, I think, let's see what days and times they're going to be releasing data. So Microsoft and Google are releasing their earnings tomorrow morning. Uh, so that's uh, going to be really affecting the market early. Um, you know, how they uh, do this will be very important for the rest uh, I mean, I'm going to be watching them very carefully, um, and you can see Texas Instruments as well. Uh, number all the ones that say this color down here uh, are basically the, are ready to do their earnings. So the 25th, you can see uh, some of the earning dates here for the sectors, and uh, some Novembers in here, and some different dates. But uh, so basically, uh, quite a number of earnings uh, getting ready to be uh, published. So you can see, at least on one week performance, um, Microsoft uh, is looking up, Apple's looking up as well. So they are, uh, at least the stock market is kind of expecting some positive news from them. I'm gonna hold off and wait till tomorrow morning and kind of see what happens uh, as they get the earnings released uh, and maybe find out the exact times and things like that that they'll be releasing and then maybe make some investment calls after uh, the earnings are released. So it looks like Microsoft here on their webpage is saying, uh, the 25th, uh, it'll be 2.30 p.m. or something, Pacific time. Uh, I don't know if that counts as a.m., but apparently uh, the other one said uh, it be a.m. Uh, they have a earning report down here that you can download and uh, look at uh, 2021, uh, but this will be 23 uh, first quarter. So uh, on YouTube, you can see here uh, that it says 25th is scheduled for 2 p.m. as well. So 2 p.m., 2.30 is Microsoft and Google's earnings. So in terms of average volume, uh, we do expect to see uh, NVIDIA, Amazon to be pretty heavy here, Microsoft, ExxonMobil, Cisco Systems, CVX, um, Oracle way up here, Salesforce, and some others, uh, International Business Machines, TSM, uh, being interesting, Verizon, Meta, Tesla over here, AMC, uh, Nokia, a bunch of others, all trying to be uh, pretty important uh, for the earnings reports uh, this season. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this study here of what's been going on in the stock market this past week. Uh, there's just a lot of news, a lot of different things happening. Um, certainly uh, tomorrow is a big day, so I just wanted to get a video out. I'm going to hold off until I I see these earnings reports and then kind of see uh, what happens. Um, if the market really tanks, that could be a major problem. I certainly hope the earnings are good. I'm a little bit skeptical right now, but uh, I'll have to see uh, for the actual numbers. If you have any suggestions, uh, please sure to like and subscribe. I'd be glad to talk with you. Send me an email or send a text down below, and I'll try to reply back. Uh, thanks a lot. See you.